10. St. Lucia has attracted one of the world's leading cruise port operators, Global Port Holdings, Prime Minister Pierre, Tourism and Investment Minister Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire signed an MOU that could pave the way for the construction of improved berthing facilities, upgraded vending and duty-free shopping zones, a new fishing village and ferry facility in Banans Bay, a new dock in Soufre, and a one-mile-long boardwalk along the Cash Trees waterfront from Laplace Carinage to Point Serapin. You must make a fair return on investment. We expect you to do that. That, that is why you are in business. But you want our people to benefit. You want our country to benefit. Nine. So not only do you have to deal with taxi drivers who are on the stands, taxi drivers who are at pegs at the respective points of entry, but you now have people who are booking online and expecting pickups at the airports. I think for the taxi drivers themselves, it will be more certainty. There will be better order, a better managed tourism transportation sector. And some of the training that we'll do, the preparation will put them through. Um, it will professionalize the taxi service as much as possible. Uh, actually, it's a big program. It's not only incubator. It's we follow the government and Lucia's uh, policy of uh, youth economy. I learned a lot with this program, and nowadays, like it, it kind of opened up my mind a little bit more. Nice. Yes. Nice. So wishing you the very best, and maybe a little later, I'll come out and try one of yours. Thank you so much. Support local. Stay healthy. Seven five eight. Seven. <laughs> Six. The Pole Vault Summit of the St. Lucia Sports Academy and the Pole Vault St. Lucia attracted over 100 students of varying ages to the grounds of the academy aimed mainly at boosting the interest in the sport and to make St. Lucia a mecca for pole vaulting in the Caribbean. Now we're actually building for two, three, four, five years down the line. We'll get through the next year or two just fine, but this is really setting the foundation for St. Lucia for the years to come. Five. Honorable Pierre held an audience with officials representing the Farmers with Disabilities and Beekeeping Association. Discussions centered on proposals that seek to create new mechanisms that can increase participation by the island's differently abled population in the local farming and beekeeping sectors. Since assuming office last July, Honorable Pierre has increased monetary support from the government to the differently abled. Four. But we are very similar in wanting the same thing that is accelerating towards universal health coverage during this COVID-19 era. The health of the population will determine its wealth. As such, events of this nature that allow for our professionals to share knowledge, experiences, and promote best practices geared towards building more resilient and sustainable health infrastructure and systems to improve the quality of healthcare are always encouraged. Three. I have an appreciation for the importance of physical education. Physical education teachers attended a retreat recently hosted by the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. This gathering forms part of a series of engagements with sports administrators. Two. The Ministry of Agriculture has partnered with ICA to provide drone safety training to members of the Canaries Community Improvement Foundation in preparation for the drones recently procured by ICA through the Caribbean Biodiversity Fund to monitor the use of vetiver as a rehabilitation tool. One. Um, this park will incorporate the whole community of Fosse Jacques. So it will start from the bottom, which is Raven Clare. Mm -hmm. It will go all up to Baden and the Rainforest Park. Mm -hmm. It's for the good of the community on the island in general. Mm -hmm. um, it's an opportunity to create and sustain livelihoods.